in other cases, like one that I like to talk, like to think about is, or like to point out as an example is, is free will and determinism. It's much less of a theorem <laughs> and more, more a, uh, more a, uh, a kind of, uh, uh, way of thinking about things that I think is, uh, reassuring and avoids uh, a lot of unnecessary quarreling and confusion. The quarreling I'm okay with and the confusion I'm okay with. I mean, people debate about difficult ideas, and, but the, the question is whether it could be almost a, a fundamental truth. I think it is a fundamental truth. Free will is both an illusion and not. Yes, I think that's correct. And I, Lodi, th there's a reason why people say quantum mechanics is weird, and co complementarity is, is 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 a big part of that. You know, to to say that the our actual whole world is weird, the whole hierarchy of the universe is weird in this kind of particular way, and it's it's quite profound, but it's also um, humbling. Because it's like we're we're never going to be on sturdy ground in the way that humans like to be. It's like you have to embrace that. Uh, well, this 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 whole thing is 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 a uh, un like <laughs> unsturdy well, mess. It's one of it's one of many lessons in humility that that we uh, run into in profound understanding of the world. I mean, uh, the Copernican revolution was one that's that. The Earth is not the center of the universe. Uh, Darwinian evolution is another that uh, humans are not the pinnacle of uh, of uh, you know of of God's creation. Uh, the the uh, and uh, the apparent result of. Uh, uh, deep understanding of physical reality that uh, mind emerges from matter and you there's you know there's there's no uh no call on special life forces or souls uh these are all lessons in humility and i actually find complementarity a uh a liberating concept. It's it's uh, okay, you know. We, yeah, it is in a way. Right? <laughs> this uh, is what I remember. There's a there's a story about Doctor Johnson, and he's talking with Boswell, and Boswell was they were discussing a sermon that they both both heard, and the the, the sort of culmination of the, of the sermon was the 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 speaker saying, "I accept the universe." And Dr. Johnson said, "Well, he damn well better." <laughs> <laughs> and and you know, there's a certain uh, there's a certain joy in accepting the universe because it's mind expanding, and uh, you know, and, and and to me, complementarity also suggests tolerance, suggests opportunities for understanding different. Different understanding things in different ways that add uh, add to rather than uh, detract from uh, understanding. So uh, I think it's it's an op it's an opportunity for mind expansion and demanding that there's only one way that to, to think about things can be very limiting. On the free will one, that's a trippy one though. I think I, <laughs> to think like I am the decider of my own actions and at well, the same time I'm not is uh it is tricky well, to think about but it's th there does seem to be some kind of profound truth in that I get well I think it is tied up it will turn out to be tied up when we understand things better with these issues of self-awareness and I think so. and where we get what, what what we perceive as making choices what does that really mean and what's going on under the hood and, and, and uh, but I'm I'm speculating about a future understanding that's not in place but at present. Your sense there will always be a like as you dig into the self awareness thing, there'll always be some places where complementarity is going to show up. <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, I mean there will be. Uh, how should I say? There'll be kind of a God's eye view, which sees 
everything that's going on in the computer or the the, the brain. And then there's the brain's own view or the or the the central processor or whatever it is that's the what we call the 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 self, the consciousness that's all only aware of a very small part of it. And those are very different. Those are the, 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 the so uh, the God's eye view can be deterministic while the the uh, the the self view sees free will and wow. it, uh, that's i i'm pretty sure that's how it's going to work out actually Beautiful. and but as as it as it stands free will is a concept that we definitely at least i feel i definitely experience i can choose to do one thing than another and other people i think are sufficiently similar to me that i i have i trust that they feel the same way uh uh and it's an, an essential concept in psychology and law and so forth. But uh, at the same time, I think that mind emerges from matter and that there's an alternative description of matter that's uh, you know up to subtleties about quantum mechanics, which I don't think are relevant here, uh, really is deterministic. 